fire and ice. She's mouthy. Her temper is easy to trigger. And she's demanding like a spoiled princess as the baby of one of the wealthiest families on the East Coast. And so sexy because of that pouty pink mouth of hers, her fiery disposition, and confidence that boosts with every bat of her long lashes. The woman is clearly obsessed with me. I get it. Most are. I've met women like her before, though. Fury is foreplay. I'm the bad boy every good girl wants to take for a spin. I have money, looks, and don't have their parents' approval. I'm a wet dream for every goody two-shoes. Yet it's my ears that perk up when I overhear Marina say, Corbin and I are... Would anyone like to order dessert? The creme brulee comes with my highest approval, the server says, stopping behind her. She replies, Nothing for me, thank you. He continues distracting the others from what she was saying, except for me, as he rounds the table. I'm still hanging on to one specific part of that earlier phrase. Who's Corbin? Her blue eyes leave the plate in front of her and shift to mine. I've caught her looking at me several times over dinner, but she looks away even quicker. This time, spinning the stem of the glass between her fingers, she replies, My co-star. Co-star is an interesting way to put what seems to be more if I'm reading the situation clearly. And, boyfriend. She doesn't smile or put much of herself into the response. It's also fascinating she relegated him to nothing more than a co-worker. That speaks volumes about their relationship. I watch her from across the table, and the light and laughter from earlier conversations have faded from her eyes. Even the fire has disappeared into an expression of neutrality. How long have you been dating? Taking a sip of wine, she maintains her gaze on mine. When she sets the glass down, she leans in and whispers, Is there nothing else more interesting to discuss? This is pretty interesting. Her lips twist to the side before the slightest of smiles shapes her mouth again. Maybe it's the wine or the intimacy of the conversation when surrounded by so much other chatter, but we exchange a silent understanding, laying our verbal weapons down. It's not something I really want to talk about right now. Dessert is served to those who ordered, and our connection is mired in the surrounding conversations. The qualifier today and the race tomorrow. Kids. Travel. And the usual chit-chat among friends. Though I'm careful not to say too much or get too involved. I've learned from the past that it doesn't matter how close you are to your team. If they want to fire you, they will. And then eat next to you at a steak dinner like they did you a favor. So I keep my personal life as private as I can. The usual judgments I hear don't do me any favors and stresses the peace I'm trying to maintain with my ex-girlfriend. And since Turpity controls my access to Colin when I'm traveling, I play nice and keep things light, so nothing posted online upsets her. Even though it's only to satiate a curiosity I have about Marina, it's not my business, so I offer her the same option I've given myself. Noah asks, What's your routine the night before a race? He's been great to have my back in the justification tour he had to do when Westcott Racing hired me. He's also a good guy and easy to get along with. We've had an occasional beer together before the season and started to hang out a bit. Looking down at my plate, where plain chicken and vegetables weren't nearly enough for my appetite tonight, I grab my glass of water to finish for the third time since sitting down. No alcohol, though, until after the final race. Lean meats and vegetables, nothing exciting, but I don't want anything heavy weighing me down. Sleep. I'll work out in the morning, probably run. You work out, right? Want to join me? Yeah, text me the time and I'll be there. I'm going to need it after that pasta. I catch Marina hiding a small yawn behind her hand and turn to her. I'm not the most exciting guy. Exciting means different things to different people. I love to binge a show or take a long bath. Not exciting. There's no anger or sarcasm in her tone. A thin thread of a white flag waves in the air between us.